Hey, I'm Science Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a flammable jelly, which is made out of the calcium acetate I made in my first video, as well as isopropanol alcohol. Once again, this video has taken me a little while to put together, but I am planning to post more videos. I've also made an Instagram account for this channel. The username for that account is in the description below. On that Instagram account, I'll post when upcoming videos are getting posted, and maybe some behind-the-scenes videos of experiments. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please provide any feedback in the comment section. Now let's get started. I still have a lot of calcium acetate from my first video, but I only want to use a small amount, so I'm only going to use 10 grams. To work out the solubility of the calcium acetate at 20 degrees, I use a Wikipedia solubility table, which I'll leave the link in the description below. Once I have worked out the solubility, I then use the formula below, C equals A divided by B times 100 to determine the quantity of distilled water I need to dissolve 10 grams of calcium acetate. As you can see above, A stands for the quantity of calcium acetate I want to use, B stands for the solubility of calcium acetate in 100 millilitres at 20 degrees Celsius, and C is an amount of the distilled water needed to dissolve. Using the calcium acetate I made in my first video, I weigh out 10 grams. Pour the 10 grams of calcium acetate into a beaker, then add 30 millilitres of distilled water. Since calcium acetate is more soluble when it's cold, I put it in the freezer. While it was in the freezer, I poured 100 millilitres of isopropanol alcohol into the beaker. After multiple times of going to the freezer and mixing the calcium acetate, it has finally dissolved. Gradually pour the calcium acetate solution into the isopropanol alcohol. Between the two substances, there isn't any chemical reaction taking place, as it is a mixture of the calcium, acetate, alcohol and water. So what is happening here is the gel forms due to the reduction of solubility of the calcium acetate once the isopropanol alcohol is added. The calcium acetate precipitates rapidly, which forms a network of microscopical dispersed insoluble particles that are found throughout the liquid, which then entraps the liquid within it, forming a gel. This is called a colloid. Using a spoon, I scooped out the jelly and started moulding it into a random shape. The jelly still had a little bit of liquid in it, and when I was moulding the shapes, if I didn't press them together firm enough, they broke apart. I then moulded the jelly into a ball and placed it onto a plate. In order to hold the fireball, you need to wet your hands and not hold it in one spot for too long. There is a white powder forming. This forms calcium carbonate because when calcium acetate is heated, it forms calcium carbonate and acetone. When the isopropanol alcohol burns, it releases CO2 and H2O. When the acetate decomposes it, it makes carbonate and acetone. When the acetone burns, it will make more CO2 and H2O.
The ashes will then react with the vinegar and make calcium acetate once again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video as well as comment any feedback down below.